Hey ladies, today I'm going to be doing a March favorites video. I'm going to be doing like some makeup and hair and clothing and all that kind of good stuff. Also food, which is so random, but I decided to include a lot of different things in my first favorites video, so I really hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned. The first thing that I'm going to be showing you is my Revlon foundation. I've been using this foundation for like three years or whenever it came out. I'm in 150 buff and I use a combination to oily skin. Definitely love this foundation. It works so good. It stays on all day. It doesn't look cakey. I get a lot of compliments on my foundation and it's always this one that I'm wearing. So I really, really like this. The next thing that I'm going to be showing you is my e.l.f. primer. I got this when I was in Florida for a dollar in the States, which you guys already know that it's a dollar if you like follow e.l.f. at all. Um, but it's, yeah, it's like the eyelid primer. I did notice, okay, so it does increase your makeup at all, like throughout the day, it works amazing, but I did notice that it kind of distorts the eyeshadow a little bit, if that makes any sense. Like the colors aren't as vibrant when you're using this primer compared to like the Urban Decay, the Too Faced, something like that. Because I used to have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and then I ran out of it, so I decided I would just pick this up until I purchased the other one and I was liking it, but then I kind of started noticing, I'm like, they're not as vibrant, like I feel like they should be more pigmented than this. And yeah, that's the only reason. It's because it's the e.l.f. one, but honestly, it lasts all day, so I can't complain for a dollar. Next thing I'm going to be showing you is the Mineral Power Concealer. Stacey Brennan, or like notes on Twitter, I don't know if you guys follow her, I will have her link down below and her YouTube as well. But I asked her what concealer I should get, and she mentioned this one. I couldn't find it in the States at all, so I don't know if you guys have it there, but I did find it when I came back to Canada because she had told me about it when I was in Florida. It's really nice though. It's got the wand applicator, or not the wand, well, is it the wand? It's got like the sponge applicator anyways. Um, it works really good. I use it for like my under eyes or wherever you would use concealer. So really, really like this. So the next thing that I'm going to be showing you are these three Beautylicious shadows. If you guys haven't followed me or if you're new subscribers or you don't even remember because it was so long ago, um, when I used to make videos, I did a lot of tutorials using the Beautylicious Cosmetics, which is my company that I started um, about three or four years ago. So if you guys want to check out my website, I will have it down below. My brother is like making me an entire new website though, so like now I don't have a shopping cart, but I soon will, so I'm really excited about it. This one is Hot Cocoa, which is just a dark brown with gold reflex. It's really pretty. I'm using this on my outer corner today. The next one here is Mint, which is just a mint green. And it's kind of matte with a little bit of shimmer. And then the last one here is Champagne, which I'm using as a highlight color. Um, yeah, I've really, really been loving these shadows lately. Perfect for spring, especially like the mint one. I think it's really fun to kind of incorporate that in your eye look as well. Then the next thing that I'm going to be showing you is my purple shampoo, which I use way too much. Like, I use it every time I shower. Probably says on here, um... Oh, two to three times a week. So I guess it's actually not that bad. Oh, okay, I feel better about myself now because I was using this every time I shower, which is every other day. Um, I leave it on for like 10 or 15 minutes. So sometimes when I get out, my hair's a little bit purple or like more silver. This is what it looks like, the color. Um, it's just like a really dark kind of purple that takes out unwanted yellow tones if you guys don't know what purple shampoo is. Um, so yeah, I've been really liking that. And then the next thing is my Moroccan oil hairspray. This smells amazing. It doesn't make your hair crunchy, which I really like. And it adds a lot of shine without it looking too greasy. I mean, if you're going to use a lot, it might tend to look a little too shiny. Um, but with my blonde hair, I always tend to lose that shine that you can get with coloring it because I'm bleaching it out, right? So I always tend to lose that, so I really like this hairspray. I use it every time I do my hair, plus I use it on all my clients. So I really like this. And then the next couple of things are nail polishes. So if you've been paying attention to my nails at all, these are the colors that I'm going to be showing you. This corally pink color is by Essie and it's called Tarte Deco, which I really like. I got this last year, so it's not like in a new collection or anything, um, but it's like a perfect, perfect spring color. And then the next one here, it's like all worn out because I've had it for so long and you guys, know this color. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure you do. It's for Audrey by China Glaze. It's like one of their most popular colors. Another thing that I've been loving is my love ring. It's right here and then below it I just have the ring that Kyle got me for my birthday last year. 
but they actually look really cute together. I have a gold love ring as well that you've probably seen in my last haul, but I've, yeah, really been loving that. Next two things I'm going to be showing you are clothing items. So if you've watched my previous videos, you've seen this shirt. It is the floral crop top that I got from Forever 21. I have an outfit of the day on it. I'll link it in the video so you guys can check it out. And also this top, this really sheer, long sleeve, flowy, kind of aqua mint uh, kind of color, also from Forever 21. And I did feature that in a haul. And then the last two items that I'm going to be showing you are food items, which is kind of weird, but I don't even care. I'm going to show them anyways. The first one is mini eggs. I freaking love mini eggs more than like, more than anything, I think. They're like my number one favorite, like amazing. Love, 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 love them. Um, I look forward to Easter so much just so I can buy mini eggs. Literally, I would eat the whole bag in like three days. Like, I wish I was joking, but I'm not joking. And that's really embarrassing. So I'm gonna put these down and forget that I even said that. And then the last two things that I'm going to be showing you are, whoa, I'm dropping it here, are these K-Cups. Um, I've got the coffee, which is a medium roast, and then hot chocolate, which is like a milk hot chocolate. I got these from Walmart for like $7 a box. This one has 16 cups, this one has 18. Um, they're a really good deal, because typically they're a lot more money than that. Uh, and they're, what are these? The Grove, Grove Square. So. Yeah, you guys can check them out. They're really good. They both taste amazing, and I always use them with like cream and stuff. I don't just drink black coffee because, I don't know, I need my sugar. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, any requests or anything, I'll be sure to do them. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. just want to give like a fair warning that Harley's here, um, so if he's like running around being crazy, you know why, or if you hear like a little footprints, that's him. This is one of my favorites. Bye bye. I think I look like a little bit weird, don't I?